September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, a time to tell the stories of young cancer fighters. We are doing just that this month and really all year long with Bells for Abigail. Since we started this series in honor of Abigail Arias, we've received so many videos, dozens of them, children ringing their end of treatment bells. But that is not where their inspiring stories end. If you have a dream, don't let that hold you back from what you want to do. Kinsley Curley is a young cancer survivor and an old Anywhere, soul with big dreams and even bigger personality. <laughs> and you didn't invite me. At the ripe old age of eight, she has things figured out. I used to be like a little shy, but I feel like now I've opened my wings and now I like am brave and I'm, I'll do anything that is scary. Fearless indeed. Perhaps because of what happened as her life was just getting started. Kinsley was three years old back in April of 2017 and she was getting a bath one night and we discovered that her stomach was very large on one side. We took her into urgent care, took us to an ER and a hospital and from there they diagnosed her with a Wilms tumor, which is a tumor on her kidney. It was really fast and all of a sudden they're wheeling her back for surgery to remove that, that kidney and that tumor. Then came 32 weeks of chemo, eight rounds of radiation, and long hospital stays. Little Kinsley lost her hair, but never her infectious spirit. She wanted to play, she wanted to be entertained. She was singing and dancing along with the nurses. I was never like scared when they poked a needle in my arm or anything because they'd have like Legos for me to play with. Something keep my mind off of all that scary stuff. Eight months later, scary stuff behind her. We are connected we counted down the days. It was Kinsley's turn to ring her end of treatment bell. I thought I was going to break it, but I, I rang it so hard. My whole life was started over again. Around that same time, another cancer warrior rang her bell. <laughs> Abigail, just as joyous and radiant as Kinsley when she rang hers. It was this very moment that inspired KPRC2's Bells for Abigail. We're asking families to send us videos of their children ringing the end of treatment bell. The timing of their bell ringing was not the only coincidence for these two cancer fighters. Both had Wilms tumor, diagnosed just months apart, and they fought the disease almost simultaneously. Two separate battles led with the same bravery that paved the way to both becoming ambassadors for other kids fighting cancer. Promise. Promise. To keep fighting the bad guys. Abigail, as Officer 758, her reach continues to touch people all over the world. Or maybe like that. As for sassy, vibrant Kinsley. You can do it, we can do it, we can, I'll do it, yeah. She's using her voice to inspire as an ambassador for MD Anderson. It's fun to raise money to help kids that were just like me. Carrying on Abigail's legacy, reminding us all in the fight against cancer. Yeah. <laughs> to stay relentless. Stay relentless. Once you're set free, go have fun with your dream. Nothing can ever hold you back from what you want to be. That is right, Kinsley, and we were so inspired by Abigail's time here on Earth. She did so much to encourage children just like her. Kinsley's mom said that they, the family followed Officer 758 and her journey because the area's family was going through the same thing that they were going through. And Chris and Dominique, we truly believe that Abigail is looking over Kinsley, yep. and she's already accomplished so much. She has big plans, and mm -hmm. she plans to raise as much money as she can for pediatric cancer research. You were right mm -hmm. in describing her as an old soul. She yes. She truly is, and yes. she is just going to light a fire. She really is. World. She already has. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Great story.